another speed build. My name's Jess and today I'm building in Henford on Bagley on a 30 by 20 lot and today's build is a tiny pumpkin patch so I'm really excited to share it with you today and for this build there are like two main buildings so one being this little tiny house and the other one being a barn which I just think both of them turned out so cute. I'm really proud of this build and I love it for the Halloween season and all the autumnal vibes that it gives. Um, and of course I had to use my favorite color palette at the moment doing an orange and green color on the tiny house and for the actual barn itself I went ahead just going with a crisp white. I just thought it would really make the orange um, and green and white of the pumpkins that we have in game really stand out. And I do think it ended up doing that. I'm really happy with how things turned out um, with this build. I Yeah, I'm really proud of it. So I went ahead and made some custom barn doors. For this build, I really wanted doors that could be open. And so I did that using the tool mod, of course, and using a cutting board from, I think it's Cool Kitchen stuff, something like that, and then the immaculate shelf and a little like gear piece from get to work and all those together just made something that I think resembles like a nice uh, tracking system for the door where it would move open and close. I think I was able to get that look um, down pretty well but you can see now I'm placing some fence pieces and I believe both fences are from get together and I just wanted to section off the different parts of this build, so I wanted there to be a little pumpkin patch area and the main house area, and then just wanted to keep the fence going all the way around the build itself. And I really love this fence piece that is just perfect for a rustic build. I think it adds so much charm to a build, so I'm always happy when I get to use it. But now you can see I'm adding in the pumpkin patch area using the garden plots from Cottage Living and I did place them in kind of a weird orientation so I will definitely play test it and see if it is functional for gardening um, but hopefully there'll be a couple that should work if you do want to garden on this lot but I can't promise it right now. You might need to change how or delete some of the garden plots to make it work but Anyways, you can see I added in some wheelbarrows and I just thought those could be used for like getting the pumpkins and bringing them back to buy from the actual field. And this banner from Cottage Living is so insane. It worked so well for doing a pumpkin patch. I was so, so happy to find it and I think it works so beautifully and perfectly for this build. It's like a hero item for me in this build. Just so, so happy we have it in game. I, yeah, couldn't believe it that we had something that would work so perfectly. But now you can see I'm starting on some landscaping. And with the landscaping, I went ahead and just used any orange plant that I could find in the game and put them all together. And I think they all looked great together. Um, but this is actually pretty minimal landscaping for me. I feel like I usually do more, but... There just wasn't a lot of space for it with the pumpkin patch in the barn. So kind of weird for me, but I still think it turned out really beautiful and really brought in that orange color of fall. And just over in this corner, I went ahead and added in a little swing set. And I wanted an area where you could sell the pumpkins if that is kind of how you choose to play on this lot because there's definitely a few different options. So I grabbed the table from Eco Lifestyle. And I think it looks so cute um, and would be perfect for selling um, your pumpkins on. And I went ahead and used the hay bales to stack up together to be like kind of a display table for the pumpkins themselves. And you'll see how I lay them out. It did take me a little while to lay them out and get a configuration I was happy with, but I really think it turned out so cute. And honestly, the Cottage Living Pumpkins are so amazing. They work so nicely for doing pumpkin patches. They like have such a great variation in shape and color. I just had a lot of fun doing this part of the build. And this is when I was like, this is all coming together. And all this work had been worth it because I actually, I think, made it look like a pumpkin patch. 
So I had a lot of fun placing those down and like having a little celebratory moment (laughs) that things came together how I had hoped. Um, You did see quickly I changed the swatches of the pumpkins um, because there's a few available in the game. But now you can see we're working on the interior of the tiny house and just doing a cute little kitchen. Um, And of course, I wanted to add in a fireplace because we want all the cozy fall vibes that we can get. And I did want there to be a little TV room for your Sims to have something fun to do. And I used this couch from Nifty Knitting, which I've never used before in a build. And I thought the orange swatch was just really perfect for this, the vibe of this build. So really happy with how that turned out. And I did want to add a few decor items from Seasons to make it feel like it was festive for the season. And of course, in the room, I had to go with my favorite color palette of orange and green, but really love how it turned out. And I did use some yellow, so I was changing it up. (laughs) But in the, the bathroom, I kept it really simple and kind of tried to change up the color palette just a little bit. Um, But now we're moving on to the barn. So in the barn, there's like two different halves, one being where like the barn animals uh, live and the other one being where you would get like what I imagine would be hot apple cider. But of course, in the game, it's a bar. So you don't, I don't think we have apple cider in the game itself, but that's what I imagined. So that's why I went ahead and placed down a bar, which you'll see in just a second. And I do think this is probably very unsanitary to just have a um, bar right next to a place where barn animals live. But in the game, you know, this is the Sims and we can do whatever we want. So I went ahead and just, uh, made the barn multi-purpose like this and I love how it turned out. I think this is like the perfect little eating spot um, in a pumpkin patch and again I tried to think about having places where your sims could take like a nice autumnal picture and I thought this would be a really cute place. So now I'm adding in the kind of barn area and I did want to decorate it up just a bit So I used some of those season flags and I think they looked so cute here. And with the animals, I went ahead and put in a chicken and a cow. The cow did take some maneuvering, but I think it should show up on the inside of the build. But we're actually coming to the end of the build now. So I just want to thank you so much for supporting my little channel here on YouTube. It means so much to me. I can't say thank you enough, but I just hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.